Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate exam of 2008. It's for two marks and is from the topic of 2D parity scheme, the topic that we saw just right now. They are saying if we are using even parity on 28 bits of data from D1 to D7, these are the data bits, so these seven columns and from R0 to R4, these are the four data columns okay so this is 7 4s are 28 28 bits of data now this column d naught and this last row r4 these are columns and rows for parity so we have this entire row representing the parity and this entire column which is representing the parity that means the parity of d3 is zero okay so similarly parity of d6 is 1. The column wise parity is written in this row and the row wise parity is written in this last column. Okay. They are saying if some receiver gets this data, this data is received by some receiver, what is the minimum number of bits that have an error? Okay. What is the minimum number of bits that are corrupted? So let's analyze this. Now, because we are using even parity, that means after addition of the parity bits, the total number of ones in any row or any column must be even. So in D7, we have two ones. That means there may not be any error in D7. In D6, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also it's susceptible. In D5, we have only one one. One is odd. That means there is surely an error in D5. In D4, we have two ones, two is odd, here also, sorry, two is even, here also it's even. Here, there will be error because we have three ones. See, parity bit is added in such a way that total number of ones become even. So while calculating the parity of D2, the sender might have seen that we have only two ones. So the parity bit will be zero because two is even. Sender will add a zero here, but receiver is getting one. That means maybe some of the bit got flipped, okay? Because after adding the parity bit, total number of ones must be even. Similarly, you can see one, two, three, four. This is acceptable one, okay? So here also there will be an error. Now let's analyze row wise. Have a look. One, two, three, four, acceptable. One, two, three, four, five. 5 is odd, that means surely in R1 there is an error. 1, 2. 2 is even, so we cannot say anything about R2. There may or may not be error. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is also acceptable. That means only about this row, I am very sure that there is an error. Now they are saying, if this data is received by a receiver, what is the minimum number of errors? See. When you want to find minimum number of errors, always pick a row which is erroneous and pick a column which is erroneous and take their intersection. So let's pick this row and this column. That means their intersection is this bit. So this bit could have been erroneous. See, because we want minimum number of errors, let's assume that this bit is erroneous. That means this bit got corrupted. I am assuming that sender could have sent a 1 here, but it got flipped to 0 in the way. By doing so, I am correcting two errors at a, at a time. See, if I assume that this bit is 1, D5 is also corrected, the parity will become even. And at the same time, R1 is also corrected. Okay, so I am correcting two uh, rows or columns at same time by taking intersection of a row and column. Now these two are corrected. Let's analyze this one and this one. Pick a row which is erroneous, pick a column which is erroneous. Now we don't have any row, okay. Just analyze this column. We want to correct the parity of this column. That means any one of the bits could have been flipped. You can assume any bit is flipped. It may be this bit, maybe this bit, maybe this bit, maybe this bit, does not matter. That means there could be many combinations or many methods to find the correct answer. Still, let's just assume that this parity bit got flipped. Okay. Now, we are assuming because 
द पैरिटी ऑफ दिस रो इज नॉट करेक्ट सो आई एम एज्यूमिंग दैट दिस बिट माइट कंटेन अ एरर दैट मीन्स आई एम सेइंग द सेंडर एक्चुअली वॉन्टेड टू सेंड अ जीरो हेयर बट बाय एज्यूमिंग सो आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ एरर इन दिस रो सी इफ आई एज्यूम दिस वन इज जीरो दिस कॉलम विल हैव इवन पैरिटी बट दिस रो विल नाउ हैव अ ऑड पैरिटी ओके सो बाय रिमूविंग दिस एरर I created this error. Now we have two errors, okay? And now it is a row and a column. You can simply take their intersection. You assume here also there is a error, and by assuming so, both of these are corrected. That means we are saying that the sender actually intended to send a one here and a zero here. If this one is one, the parity of this column also becomes even. and if this one is zero the parity of this column also becomes even okay and if both of the changes are considered this one will still have even parity only okay i hope you understanding this now see we started from here these three columns had a error and this row had a error you can just take any one column and any one row in starting okay you can just take this row and this column also that means in starting you might assume that uh, this bit got flipped okay so by assuming that this bit got flipped we have corrected one row and one column at the same time we want the minimum number of errors right so because we are assuming this bit was flipped that means initially it was zero so parity of this row is also even that means this error is corrected and this error is also corrected okay now there are only two columns which are erroneous you can just deal with the any column first if we deal with this d not you can assume that any bit got flipped suppose i am assuming this bit got flipped so i am saying sender intended to send a one but it got transmitted as a zero okay so if i am saying this one is erroneous that means sender wanted to send a one so parity of this is corrected i have corrected this but i have created a error in this row okay now we have one row and one column which is erroneous for correcting this column you simply don't assume that any bit could be flipped rather assume that this bit was flipped because we want minimum number of errors okay so this is one possible combination you can make n number of combinations but in every possible method you are going to get three errors only okay 1 2 3 previously also you saw the minimum number of errors possible is 3 so answer to this question is 3 now you can just skip the rest of this video still i'll show you one more combination c d5 and d2 and d0 this one was erroneous and this one was erroneous have a look now we can start by correcting these two rows and columns so if we want to correct both of them at the same time you can assume that the error is in this bit okay by assuming a error here that means by assuming that sender wanted to send a one i have corrected this row and this column at same time now we need to correct both of these columns you can assume a error anywhere in this column or in this column so i am assuming that this bit got flipped okay now by assuming so i created a error in this one because i am assuming that sender wanted to send a one so 1 2 3 4 5 that means the parity of this one became odd so now we need to correct this error also this one is done we have two errors in this column and in this row because we want the minimum numbers of error uh, errors possible let's assume that this bit got flipped by assuming so you can correct this column and this row at the same time